In about two minutes, we'll show you how easy it is to use BSource to create a project, scan a code base, and produce an actionable report. Let's start a new test project. We'll call this one Java Test. Let's use the default rule set. Then we'll give it a filter to scan for Java suffixes. Click Finish, and we've created a new project. You'll see the code is in three separate directories under the source directory. Let's start the scan of the entire code base. BSource prepares the code, then compares it against the selected rule sets, and it displays the vulnerabilities discovered. The scan's done. Now let's reopen the project. 300 issues were found, and the report includes the directories where they were found. BSource sorts them by criticality. In this case, there are 89 critical vulnerabilities. Let's select one for a deeper look. This path traversal issue. It exists in the custconfig.java module in line 26. On the right side, we have the flow trace. Custconfig.java is on the bottom, and everything above it is the stack where the code was called. Here, under Rule Description, we get a summary of the path traversal problem. And under Example, we see examples of bad code and good code. Under the Standard tab, we see the third-party standards that BSource utilizes. Cert Java, OWASP Top 10, and CWE. The results can be exported as a CSV or PDF file. This shows the count, number of files, number of detected files that have problems, number of lines of code, and here, divided by priority, all files that were found and their criticality. Then, it goes into each substantiation of a code problem. Finally, the report gives us an example of the category, rule, bad code, good code, and then where in the code base that a problem was found. That's how easy it is to create and run a scan on a code base using B source. Thanks for watching.